This video explains how to fix your printer when your printer stops feeding paper and a paper jam error message displays on your printer's control panel or on your computer. In this step, we will clear any jams from the paper trays. Do not remove jam paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input and output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. To do this, push the tab on the left side of the rear access door to the right and then pull the door away from the printer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reattach the rear access door. To do this, insert the two pegs on the right side of the door into the right side of the printer and then push the rear access door into place. If the paper jam cannot be removed from the back of the printer, we can try to remove it from the front. Return to the front. Raise the paper output tray. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Open the cartridge access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get any small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed all of the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Setup menu icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move to the center of the printer. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for paper or other obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any paper that is found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, 
Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach inside the printer through the cartridge access door and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Setup menu icon. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris, and this step will clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Raise the output tray and remove the paper from the input tray. Lower the output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Remove the rear access door. To do this, push the tab on the left side of the rear access door to the right and then pull the door away from the printer. Clean the pick rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth, lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller, starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. While the rear access door is removed from the printer, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding paper properly and mean that the rear access door needs to be replaced. Reattach the rear access door. To do this, insert the two pegs on the right side of the door into the right side of the printer and then push the rear access door into place. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, raise and hold the output tray in the open position. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Lower the output tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Setup menu icon. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. 
you can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. To print a page from the printer's control panel, touch the Setup menu icon. Touch Tools. Then touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.